Well, this week, an Aleph Aeronautics Model A became the world's first flying car to receive FAA flight certification. It has a $300,000 price tag. The Model A is all electric. It has a 200-mile driving range plus a 110-mile flight range. Production expected to start in 2025, intended to be delivered shortly after. A LEAF Model A electric VTOL flying car gets approval from U.S. government. Though the concept of flying automobiles is as old as science fiction itself, it has only recently begun to appear like it may one day become a reality. The United States Federal Aviation Administration has given the green light to the first flying car, the Model A, from Alif Aeronautics. In today's video, we'll talk about Alif's flying car, what we know about its design, technology, and price. Let's get started without further ado. Jim Dukovny, the CEO of Alif, stated in a news release that the company is thrilled to have received this certification from the FAA because it enables them to get closer to offering people a commute that is more ecologically friendly and faster, saving individuals and companies hours each week. In closing, he stated that, this is one small step for planes, but one giant step for cars. Alif Aeronautics constructed its first subscale prototype in 2016, and then a scaled version of the company's unique electric propulsion technology was exhibited to venture capitalist and early Tesla investor Tim Draper, who then committed $3 million in seed money via Draper Associates Fund 5. Alif Aeronautics is now in the process of developing its first full-scale aircraft. In October 2022, the general populace was given their first look at the Alif Model A, which had seating for either one or two passengers. In addition to being able to fly, the all-electric vehicle costs $300,000 and can be driven on conventional highways and parked in locations meant for automobiles that do not have the ability to fly. Pre-orders for the vehicle have already begun. Although it takes off and lands in a vertical position, the car can achieve horizontal flight while it is in the air by using the sides of the vehicle as wings. Despite the expensive price of the vehicle, enthusiasts have already begun forming lines in order to be the first to purchase the brand new flying car. Flying cars! Apparently it could happen sooner than you think. Really? Which is great news because half of y'all can't oh, even drive whoa. on the roads. Uh, I don't so need you flying around in the air. This looks complicated. Yeah, so a flying car prototype just got an airworthiness certificate from the FAA. It's the first fully electric vehicle to get U.S. government approval that can fly and travel on the roads. So Aleph Automotive said its Model A vehicle aircraft has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and it can carry one or two people. Its range will be 200 miles on the road and 110 miles in the air. The number of people who had put down deposits for the vehicle was reported to be 440 by the corporation during the fourth quarter of the previous year. Those who contributed $150 were placed in the regular waiting line while those who contributed $1,500 would be given priority access once deliveries commence. Design-wise, it's quite an interesting invention, with a mesh-like structure on the upper part of the bodywork. A bubble-like capsule will be located in the middle of the vehicle, and people will sit inside of it. The Alif Model A utilizes four smaller motors as opposed to a single huge motor in order to power its eight rotors with four located on either side of the central capsule. The blades have a mesh covering that lets air pass through the car and enables it to make vertical takeoffs and landings. Because it can supposedly take off like a helicopter, it does not require wings like a conventional aircraft. Hence, it does not have them. As a result, it appears to be more similar to a car than it is to a flying vehicle due to its lack of wings. According to a leaf, the automobile will have a range of 200 miles when it is driven on land and slightly more than half of that when it is flown, being able to travel 110 miles while it is in flight mode. The FAA is presently in the process of formulating guidelines for electrical vertical takeoff and landing due to the unique characteristics of the vehicle. By the end of the year 2025, Alif Aeronautics intends to hand over the first units to their respective customers. White-listed areas are the only places where owners of Alif flying cars will be permitted to take off from and land for the time being. According to Dukovny, they will probably only be required to have a basic Part 107 drone license in order to fly the car. 
This is in addition to the usual driver's license that is required in order to operate the vehicle on the road. When can we expect these on the road? That's a good question. So first of all, just clearing something. So we got the very limited uh, certifications for very limited uh, purposes and very limited areas where we can use it, that's number one. Number two, it's a precursor to Model A, which got certified. So there may be still a while until everything is gonna be approved and it's gonna be on your road. We hope to start production in 2025. Um, hopefully something in US, maybe outside US but this is what we're targeting. It's possible that the high cost of the Alif Model A will discourage some people from making a purchase. The CEO of Alif stated that for the time being, the company is concentrating its efforts on producing a modest quantity of expensive equipment. On the other hand, the business intends to begin mass manufacturing of a more affordable Model Z by the year 2035, and it will retail for only $35,000. In addition to that, this iteration of the flying automobile will have the capacity to carry anywhere from four to six people and will have more autonomy. According to Dukovny, it will be able to travel up to 300 miles when traveling by road and up to 200 miles when traveling by air, with the power of hydrogen up to a distance of 500 miles in the air. In addition to this, he anticipates that the vehicles will be able to take off and land in any location, with the exception of blacklisted areas. The short-term Model 8, which you see behind me, we hope to start production in 2025. The long-term Model Z, we hope to start production in 2025. In short-term, obviously, it's a low-volume high price. In the long-term, it's a high-volume low price. In the short-term, you'll probably require to drone uh, operate a license, the government has, or an online the pilot class. But in the medium to long-term, it will probably require only your drone operated devices, or it actually will be autonomous. When everything is said and done, the Alif Model A appears to be the flying car that we have been waiting for throughout the course of the previous century or so. The optimal strategy for beating the morning and evening rush hours in traffic and for getting to work on time, however, it is not the first vehicle to make such a claim. The names Aska and Ekspung instantly come to mind in this regard. Because of this, we are eager to find out whether the company will live up to our expectations. Although a Leaf may be the first flying automobile to be commercially available, it certainly won't be the last. Both Boeing and Fiat Chrysler are competing to be the first to launch their vehicles into orbit. Both Toyota and Uber have been hard at work developing designs for flying taxis. Additionally, Joby Aviation's stock price increased by 44%, as a result of the FAA awarding the company a special airworthiness certificate. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to stay in the loop on all things EV, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy driving.